PPE for caring for COVID positive patients without doing an aerosol generating procedure includes the following. A surgical mask, protective eyewear which can either be goggles or a face shield, a plastic apron and gloves. This is a step-by-step -step demonstration of donning of PPE while caring for a COVID-19 positive patient according to the Free State Department of Health. You will need your healthcare provider doing the procedure as well as a trained observer. Your healthcare provider will be wearing a scrub suit and a cap. Ensure that you are well hydrated and comfortable before donning PPE. Remove all personal equipment and items. Thereafter, we'll inspect the PPE with both the healthcare provider and the trained observer. Besides the scrub suit and cap, other PPE equipment you will need is hand sanitizer, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, two pairs of gloves, an N95 mask, either a hard or a soft shell, protective eyewear, an overgown, overshoes, and a plastic apron. After inspecting the PPE, the next step is hand hygiene, which we do according to the eight steps of the WHO hand rubbing method. First, place a palm full of the alcohol-based solution in a cupped hand, covering all the surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm. Then rub your right palm over your left dorsum with interlaced fingers and repeat on the other side. Then rub palm to palm with your fingers interlaced. Then use the back of your fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlaced. Then rotational rubbing of your left thumb clasp in the right and do the same with the other hand. Thereafter rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and repeat on the other hand and once dry, your hands are safe. After applying hand hygiene, don your first pair of gloves. To apply the N95 marks, first open it up to form a diamond shape. Then insert your index finger and thumb between the two elastics and make two L's with your index and thumb. Turn your thumb upwards and outwards. Then put the mask onto your chin ensuring that both elastics pass in front of your face and draw it over your head. The first elastic should go over your head, the second elastic underneath your ears around your neck. Pinch the part around your nose to ensure it forms a nice seal and then we should test to see that the seal is good. The assistant now verifies the N95 mask fit. I can see the mask expanding on expiration and I see it collapsing on inspiration. After verifying the fit of your N95 mask, put on your eye protection. This should ideally be tight-fitting rubber goggles. Thereafter, don your second pair of gloves. Put 
on your over gown, you may ask your assistant to help you tie the gown at the back. Cover your sleeves with the top pair of gloves. Then put on your overshoes. And lastly, the plastic apron where you can also ask your assistant to tie at the back. Now the step-by-step -step donning of PPE has been completed. Before doing the procedure, you can once again ask your assistant to just verify that your PPE is appropriate and complete. Check the integrity of all the equipment and quality of application of the equipment. If your assistant, which is the trained observer, is happy, you may now proceed with the procedure. For donning of PPE while doing a sterile procedure, you will need to put on all your non-sterile PPE before doing the surgical scrub. This will include your scrub suit, your scrub cap, the sealant goggles, your N95 mask, which has been verified that it's got an appropriate seal with your trained observer, the plastic apron, as well as your overshoes. After completing the surgical scrub and drying your hands, don your first pair of sterile gloves. Now don your surgical gown with your assistant tying the gown at the back. Ensure that the gown is completely closed. Then don your second pair of sterile gloves. Lastly, have your assistant inspect your PPE and verify the seal of the N95 mask before entering the surgical theater to do the sterile procedure.